Hey guys, it is Sonia and Matt from behind the camera. Matt. 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 We're going to be getting into you said it. Matt. Matt, like Matt. How are you guys? It's Sonia and Matt from Joe Monkey Paint Company. It's day 10 of our paint a piece of furniture or something or another challenge for 30 days straight. I think we're live at this point on YouTube. I can't even talk. YouTube? Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. Facebook. YouTube. Is that a yes? We're good? Yes. We're good? Yay, we're good. All right, as you guys pile in, I'll tell you about tonight's project. And for anybody who's new and just spotted us, welcome aboard the ship of junk monkeys. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of fun just repurposing, reusing, uh, giving some paint, baby, the power of paint, putting it on some pieces, and just, you know, reincorporate, reincorporating them back into the home again, okay? So I'm going to show you a piece that I have tonight to do, and if you are somebody out there that's trying to learn how to paint, and you need some tips, and maybe you're thinking about even doing, like, painting furniture for a business, then I'm going to tell you, if you follow me for 30 days straight, and we are at day 10 at this point, if you're just finding me, go back and watch the last 10. I'm giving you all free lessons here for 30 days straight, not in a private Facebook where you have to pay to be in for free for 30 days, okay? So this is your chance to ask questions and to hang out with me, and I'm gonna show you the project that I have today, okay? So this is a thrift store find, and I have to tell you that I'm a girl that not only likes to make my home, you know, my shop beautiful on a budget, but also my office, hello, for you it could be your craft space, it could be a place where maybe you pay bills, um, you know, maybe you have a home office or a business or that sort of thing. You can also think about and find ways to make your office beautiful and organized and just makes it a happy place. You know what I'm saying? So this is a bulletin board that I found. Can you guys see where the many stick pins have been, the many push pins have been? That's okay. It's missing a little bit right here of just a part of it over here, there, there, there. Can you see that? Is that coming through to you? Just yes. a plain Jane, right? And so you know what? I could go and I could buy one of these for brand new, or I could pay, say it with me, one dollar for a bulletin board that has had some life, frowny, frowny life, and make it beautiful. So I want to give you guys some ideas tonight about things that you can do around your office, and maybe it will have you re-looking at the things that you currently have and just realizing that you can do what the do something with what you already have, right? So this is our bulletin board tonight, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have Matt do some uh, holler outs, I call them, some shout outs here in just a second to you guys, but I'm gonna go ahead and put some color on here, okay? So the color I've chosen tonight is the color we have called Blue Slate. Let me see if I can hold up this. Can you kind of see it through here? Blue it's Slate. Blue. It is like, yeah, a blue-gray denim, okay? Think like about a like slate. Jeans, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful. It's one of our most popular colors. And I'm going to go ahead and put some color on here. I could not tell you how many people have paid me to paint or come to me and said, Hey, Sonia, could I do anything because I'm, you know, I'm designing a room for my daughter and I want to put a bulletin board in there for her, but, you know, I want it to match her room. Can you do something with it? Yes, you can. Of course, you can use Junk Monkey Paint to paint your bulletin board, which means it doesn't have to just be that brown cork style, right? So that's what we're going to do tonight. If this one has a small frame on it, if I wanted to, I could get crazy with the cheese whiz and I could add an additional piece of plank inside of here to make the border bigger if I want to do that. I could paint the border separate than what I actually paint the board inside of it. And how many of you guys saw my live, I did half on Facebook, the other half on YouTube, where I painted a plain Jane, I think it was what, 1970s, 80s mirror? Yeah. And it had no frame, but I built in my own. So if you want to know how to create your own really cool ornate style, frame, whatever style you want, make sure you go check out that blog um, on YouTube and then also on Facebook, okay? But in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and add some color and show you how easy it is and just the difference it can make. And that, let's get started. So I am somebody who likes to reuse my tools. You guys saw me paint my door gray mouse in the house with this tray, <laughs> using this tray. It's all dried up. We're going to make use of that, all right? Yeah, and I have a roller, and uh, we're going to get started. I'm going to dump some in here. I'm also going to use my Chevy chip brush to get around the edges. Actually, and you can't see through it. Let me grab one of my Chevy chip brushes. I am going to do the edge and then roll them out the circuit. All right, let's get started. Matt, who is with us tonight? Everybody. 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 Nice. Before I get started with that, I want to remind everybody, 20 banana bucks for Facebook and yes. for YouTube. All you have to do is share and type share below. Hello from Snowed in St. Louis. We got, what, three inches? I don't And we know. got most of it we in the last it. hour. Yeah, you guys see what I posted on my Facebook page uh, probably like an hour ago? Thank you, yeah, Anna. We got a bit of snow, right? So, 
So I'm going to go ahead and add this over the edge. Again, you can see your edge a little bit different than the interior. Totally up to you. How many toes you are. Kayleen's waiting for thunderstorms. Oh, we had really? we had thunder snow last week, and actually there was a tornado that night. We had the really high winds, weird believe it or not. Yeah. Weather. Nothing yeah. but rain. Weird, weird so. weather. Nice meeting you as well, Anna, at convention last year. Yes. Oh, okay. Is that a sponge roller? No, it's a velour roller. Yep. Velour. Yep. Velour. These are Low actually, nap. I just got them in. These are my favorite roller to use, and I'll tell you why. Hey, because Lisa. They are considered, like Matt said, low nap. And what that means is there is a thinner radius around them to the center, okay? Have you ever used, like, a sponge roller? They're okay in a pinch if you're just doing something for fun, that sort of thing. But if you want to ever make something look professional, there's actually a specific roller to use. This one's made out of velour. Um, and I'll show you what they look like. I do have a bunch of them, and they will be going on my website tomorrow. So, and you're ready. Saints. Right yep. Saints. You get two in a set. Even though we got, even, oops, sorry. Okay. I, I'm sorry. People are asking me questions. Yeah. There. And the roller as well, the handle, everything will go. Okay? Yeah. All right. I'm going to go ahead and finish my edge over here. I'd say eagles, but the whole thing is, uh, we, we got friends that, that, uh, uh, New Orleans, too much for them. Too much for them. So, anyways. That's that. No, her DNA, uh. Yeah, the results did not yeah, come in yet. I told you. Special, man. I'm yes. Sorry. All right, I am rolling on. Whoa, what's that? Wait, 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 wait. Who's that? Um, Kim Weller is going to flea market the weekend after my birthday and hitting my way, our way. Oh, very nice. Yes. Yay, yeah. Absolutely. So. If you get close to the area and you're traveling in, make sure you send me an email. And if I'm not there, I'll send you the link and I'll give you a little tour. But if you come on our open days, of course. I would like to see Kansas scary. City win. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I'd like to see Kansas City win, but they're going to be playing New England. And you know how that goes. So, anyways. I, I think it, as soon as New England gets first round by, you can pretty much guarantee they're going to be in the championship game. That's why I think they need to be – their division is terrible. And uh, while they're a super good team, Brady's one of the best – a lot of that has to do with the division they play in. Easy road to hoe all season. So, have, there you go. I have nothing to say on this because... She knows nothing. I know nothing about football. <laughs> Listen, I was like, you can watch your football, and I will watch... Give me one episode to watch of Marie uh, Kondo. And oh, God. Area. And I'm like, I will watch one episode of her, and I will be on my merry way cleaning and purging, all right? So today was one of those days where I was coming in purging, asking myself, does it bring me joy? They say that everybody is like being hooked on this now, and as a result of the cleaning and purging, that thrift stores, junk stores are really going to be great places that are going to be filling up now with everybody's junk. <laughs> it's, it's good news for us, right? It's a win-win. Uh, three win -win. stores are happy thanks to Conda, as Su Susan said. There you go, right? Exactly. <laughs> All right, yeah. so, guys, I just put right now my blue slate. We just love that color. I just think it's so pretty. And, yes, this is a used bulletin board. And, yes, I'm going to use it, too. But I don't have to leave it used and brownie brownie, right? So I have painted um, bulletin boards for people, and I've done them in, like, for their daughters, for their rooms, and pinks and things like that. So something that's so, you know, it's just, like, it's what? Is it's, she on Netflix, or what's she on? It's a tool, a most basic tool, but it's so much beautiful. What's that? Uh, is uh, Konda san on Netflix or what's she on? She is on Netflix. She is on Netflix. Okay. Yeah. Does she ever speak English? Uh, she speaks English. I think she. she a bit. I think she knows more than what she lets on, but I don't think she's very confident. So she uses her translator. So, anyways, it, it just it took me back from when I was living in Japan. So, I just think it was kind of funny. It is cool. It is it, it's cool. funny. It's funny. Yeah. Show. I don't know how many seasons there are. I just keep watching them and hoping that they never stop. Yeah, her watching this, I'm starting to think Sonya might be part Japanese. Why? Well, I, <laughs> I I know, but you get in that cleaning bug like her, and no, you're like, not, she connects. Japanese. She connects. I love mess. <laughs> That's what she says. Yeah. I love mess. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish my edge. 
Uh, Lisa's son's over in Okinawa right now. Oh, wow. Okinawa is a little bit different than mainland, so I mean, he's got his barracks mama son that you know that he pays ten dollars and she does all the cleaning for those guys and they'll even cook for you. They, each barracks has their own has their own mama son that lives in the barracks, and then you pay her so much a week and she does all your cleaning. Really? Y'all talk about the organizing woman. Yes, we are. Yes. Tess hates that show. What? Because uh, it makes you feel like you need to clean. So I think it would be really fun as well. So remember, you cut out also inside here. Mm -hmm. This is just one layer of paint on the top of the bulletin board, right? right. This bulletin board that I found for a buck, all right? I don't care about the previous holes in here because guess what? I'm going to be using this sucker and in between all the things that I actually post on here. I'm going to see some pretty color, right? Yep. But remember that when you do this, you can do fun stuff like... Like what, Sonia? Remember I did this tray here? And just kind of give this. some quick ideas real fast, okay? You guys can fill in the blank. And then my question is going to be, you know, what would you put on yours? Look <laughs> my, my Tess here. prefers hoarders. They make her feel better about it. So. <laughs> All right. So imagine you want a bulletin board. Antique lace and a little bit of black velvet will give you this beautiful stripe. All you would do is use some painter's tape, right? Thank it's you, still here. Yes. Actually, if you want to go ahead and um, put some, this is the one that we did yesterday. Go back and watch that video if you want to watch the how-to on this one real quick for the clip. Um, but if you want to go ahead and stencil in some leopard print, that will be cool. You know, um, I taught you guys how to do a buffalo check. This video, this particular tutorial is on YouTube from Junk Monkey Paint Company. You can go ahead and do a buffalo check, um, you know, bulletin board for yourself. That's so, that depends on how uh, that depends on how much lye you're gonna need. So, anyways, so speaking of DNA thing, I found something interesting today uh, about the uh, about my results because I, I have one grandmother that was in Armstrong, right? Great grandmother, right? Wait, grandmother, great grandmother, great 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 grandmother, right? Yeah. Um, anybody out there that's Armstrong, Armstrong's one of the biggest Scottish clans in Scotland. Yep. But even though they've been in Scotland for, you know, 1,200 years, found something out. Yeah. They're not actually Scottish. Okay. They're Danish. What does that mean? So they came across in the Viking invasions of the 900s to 1200s. Yeah. So if you have Armstrong in your family, yes. you have a lot of... What? A lot of what in your family? So you have a lot of Viking in your family more viking than scottish so there you go for all you armstrongs out there that's been like deep into dna studies now at this point well i i i'm just trying to make sense of it because everything works out except for two little spaces that i have the greek and the sardinian and then uh the northern european they they can't determine english scottish or northern european which would be belgium uh denmark uh, Norway and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. if they can't determine that, that tells me that's, you know, from looking into it, the ones that came across during the uh, medieval period. So there you go. That's cool. Yeah. There you go. Not Scottish, not English, but actually. Yeah. You know what I'm thinking, guys? Not talking out loud here. What? I'm thinking polka dots need more for this. No polka dots. You know, imagine, imagine. People are saying owls. I've got a big, um, what B is cute too, I'm looking down here again for this. You know my favorite stencil that I love to incorporate is the one that I have right there now. I might grab it because it's going to my office, so I'm going to pick one that I know that I love to decorate with. So this is one that, is, that I just always have fallen in love with. And I got this one at, let me think here, I took you guys jumping with me. I have two of these because I love it so much. I just think it's just so classy and it's so cool, right? I paid like three ninety nine for it, and I think I got it at either Michael's or Joanne Fabrics. One or the two, and then use your coupon. Let's go ahead and put this one on. I think that'd be awesome. And Andrea said, my whole life I was told I was Italian. Turns out my DNA says I'm Spanish. No way! <laughs> and, the D and the DNA test said, that was a lie. <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty neat because when Max came back, um, it actually gives you like there you go, that you log into, like other people that have done it. I'm going to put a stencil on here. Can you guys see this? I'm using my black velvet. I can do white on that, which would be really cute too. I'm going to put this over black velvet. 
Rish, and, rish, uh, rish, rish, rish. It gives you like rish, names rish. of other people rish, who are rish. connected to you rish, rish, rish. that have also done the test, which is rish, so rish, cool. Rish. It is pretty neat. I, I have to point something out. Yeah, go for it. While I was talking, Sonia wrote me a note, and I and and I got yelled at. I, I can't I can't discuss it because it, it's from the boss, so there you go. Okay, alright. There you go. Well, Holly wrote and tell me about banana books. I already did. Again? Yes. Again, monkey? Yes. Again, monkey? Yes. There's always new people doing that. Yeah. So I got re reprimanded mid show. How about that? <laughs> Listen, we've been together for 20 years, alright? We're like guys want to hear about banana books real quick? Go for it, Matt. But I already did. I'm going to, but I got some questions to answer first. Okay, uh, Debbie said, I was told had lots of Native American DNA, showed, showed none, 100% European, largest really? percentage Irish. That's like me, I'm all European, I have nothing. So, which DNA company we use? We use Ancestry. Are you ready? Yes. So now, 20 big banana bucks, all you have to do is share and hit share, then type share below in the comment, both on YouTube and Facebook. There's going to be 20 on YouTube, 20 on Facebook. Dawn says, I'm adopted, but figured I would be Swedish, turned out 80% German. <laughs> Linda Olson, Matt, you reprimanded, I'm shocked. <laughs> <laughs> keep them in line, Linda. Keep them in line. What would you do? Mm -hmm. All right. Because I've got the black here, I'm going to do what we affectionately call the jug monkey, the eyeliner effect, which is where we do our edging, right? So you want to balance your pieces. You don't just want to have one color and the rest of the expanse of space over here nothing, right? So let's just bring a little bit of our black velvet around on the edges to just, you know, the eye will be much more satisfied. Well, I had one they found they said was a first cousin or first cousin once removed. Yeah, and you didn't recognize them. I didn't know the name. Never heard of the name before, right? Yeah. And so I contacted him. I'm like, boy, this is weird. So, so I messaged him, and she comes back, and she's like, oh, you're Chubb's kid. <laughs> it, was, it, was my, it, was, it was my cousin. She knew you. Yeah, she knew who I was. I was like, but I didn't recognize the name. So right. don't good. I feel foolish. There okay. you Add go. A little bit of black on the edge. You guys getting ideas out there? Do you ever think about painting your bulletin board before? Or if you needed a bulletin board? Hey, Aqua house, plays Minecraft. Go get one that's cheap like me for a buck. I played Minecraft with Riley back in the day. Oh, you tried to teach me one time. Yeah. It was not fun. Well, yeah. Trying to teach your mother how to play Minecraft. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was scarred. <laughs> He'd get mad. He'd be like, don't go near those things. I think I'm going to put a little bit on the inside as well, just to bring that around. Mm -hmm. I'm going to create the border. I'm not reloading my brush. I'm just basically swiping any that's left off of it, creating a little bit more of a frame for this piece. So it has more of a cozier look, you know what I'm saying? Like it's mm -hmm. brought together. So would you put stripes on yours? Would you? Entirely put a really cool pattern all over the back of it. Guys, that's the part that's glued up to you. Oh, I love it. What do you guys think? Yes? Yes, yes, yes? Yes. Isn't it cool? Look at that. Right? Yes, we like it. We loved it. Sandra right. said she was adopted and did ancestry and found out so much of her heritage she never knew about. That's, that's awesome. Amazing. That's what that's what I you know, I wanna know the stuff I didn't know, right? That's what's cool that you know, we live in a time with social media and shared platforms where people can go online all in one place and somehow connect. I just yeah. think it's pretty amazing. Yeah, we live in an amazing time. We do, yeah. Karen says, Dungeons and Dragons, do you have a dragon or fairy stencil? Not here, but over at uh, yes. over at the base. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We yeah, actually have stencil. all kinds of stuff <laughs> like that. Huh? Yeah. Well, no, we don't have any here on our to do it with, right? But if you want oh, one, on yeah, yeah, but if you want one, use our, link. use our link, go over and see it. They have all kinds. I mean, basically everything. Yeah. I've decided that because I have this over here, I'm going to put a few lines over here. A few stripes. Just, again, to jazz it up. I'm going to turn it this way to face me so I can actually see what I'm doing for a second here. All right. Give me a moment. That's crazy, Donna. Yeah, I actually 
actually have my stencil link up above here in Facebook, and I have my stencil link down below for those of you on YouTube. Go check it out. I have found this amazing place to get stencils that are of beautiful quality, and they, on average, are about $5.99, which is totally up my alley. I don't know about yours. Free shipping on orders over $30, and they ship. And they ship. And this is one of the reasons why I'm working with this awesome company. I've talked to the owner, Jacob. He's terrific. They're down in Florida. And they ship internationally. So, banana uh, bunch of friends, hello around the world. You can get the same stencils uh, that I'm using. Can you use yeah. scrapbook paper on that? You yes. You sure can, yes. The only thing is, think about how you're going to use it. Because I'm going to show you something in a second. Let's make sure this really cool. But if you wanted to create that border around it, remember how I was saying how create a border that... Um, Tell them where to find it on our page. It's right up above in the link. Or if you click your screen right now, my links will pop forward for you, for those of you who are on Facebook. Or at any given time, if you want to find my links, all you got to do is go to jumpmonkeypaint.com, click stencils, or click Sonia's favorite things. You'll find it Mary there. said she found her biological mother on Ancestry 48 years after adopting. Wow. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. See, it's amazing. Shailen said she used yeah. the link yesterday and placed an order Yay! for a bunch of stencils. That's there terrific. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I saw you put a, the piece of tape. Sorry. Oh, no. So what I'm doing. <laughs> top. What? I saw you put that piece of tape at the top before. Why do you do that? To space. Yes. To space your uh, so if I want long exact... tape ones. Spacing, like Matt's talking about there, spacing. So you don't have to measure out all your lines. Mm. All you do is use the width of the tape itself to go in between. So, you know, one is tape, one is the little... I hate you, yeah. Tess, right okay. now. That's one of my favorite things in the world. All right, let me see here. Thank you, Tammy. All right, so I'm good. I got my tape down. Now I'm going to go ahead. Stick down. Sit down. I'm not using my favorite tape today. I think this is, this is what? This is a duck one. My favorite one is frog tape, and I just grab what I have. This is another reason why I love my, I mean my frog tape. It's the green color one, and it's, I just find it better. I just find that it, it works better for me, right? Now, when you're doing something like this, you could always, let me see here for my black. You could always roll this on as well. I'm just going to go ahead and use that same uh, black velvet that I used for this stencil over there. And now I'm going to go ahead and mm. match up the other end. Do it shabby style, of course, because I've got this undistressed style. I've distressed the edge of it. I'll hold it up in just a second for you so you can see it. So I'm just going to put in some distressed lines over here, some stripes. Where do we go to show you pictures of things we've painted with Junk Ooh, Monkey? We go to Junk Monkey Paint Projects yep. and fill out the questionnaire and join the group. And post your pictures and we'll approve them into the group. Yeah. Just make sure you tell everybody what colors, colors of Junk Monkey yes. paint that you use. That's a, that's a good point. If you are wondering why you tried to post something, we have over four, we're getting close to 4,500 pages in there. So when you join, you won't be the only one. Right. Um, it's free. Funny, it's a free posting, group too. Yeah. But of course, it's a Junk Monkey paint project sharing group. So I want to see that you guys have the Junk Monkey colors on there because we're helping each other. It's a sharing group to help each other. Of course, it has to be Junk Monkey, and it's paint project. So that's the style of things that you would be painting in or posting in there. Just make sure that hey, you have the color you used on there. <laughs> Tess says, I have enough people in this house. I don't want to meet any new re relatives. Can't feed anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, uh, that was when I took Sonia to her first family reunion down here. You don't have that many cousins. I go around and go, that's my cousin, that's my cousin, that's my cousin, that's my cousin, that's my cousin. That's my cousin. How do you have that many cousins? Right. Yeah. And then Turns she... Turns out he does. Yeah. And she went to... I did not believe it. One tiny family reunion. <laughs> There's a lot of you. Yes. Gaylene, Matt, I hope I can place a order for milk paint. Please, please, please. Yeah, but just email, Withdrawal email is happening us. here. Yeah. yeah. Email us there, Gaylene. Yep. Yeah. Because you're super special. Yes. I have some sketchy relatives. Don't want to uh, run my DNA. <laughs> wow. Well, Vanderham, if that's your married name, we, we know that you are from Holland. 
You sometimes you wonder, what do they do with their, your DNA? You're not going to yeah. have it. Mm. Well, I mean, they of course send it to the government, and then you're Canada. Really? They probably have well, a contract listen, with the government. I immigrated into this country, and uh, from Canada. Oh, they have mine too. They trust have me. Uh, everything on me. Spitting in the tube was much if easier. I a crime, <laughs> they'd find me in no time. Yeah. Um, Spitting in the tube was much easier than the uh, thorough swabbing I underwent when I was in boot camp. That sounds awesome. That sounds terrific. All right, so add in some lines. Kim says she wished she could do a DNA to rule out a few relatives. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Real life people. Real life people. Galen says, oh my God, they could clone you. Of course they could because there's not enough of this sweetness to go around. They find criminals with it. Yep, it just happened in the Pittsburgh area last week. Whoa! Look at that, guys. Now we just need to they closed the cold case. How about that? Let's try this. Hello. Now I've added some stripes over here, right? What do you think? Pretty cool. Not bad for a dollar bolt board that was cast off. And now it's gonna be in my office. This is the deal, Patty. If they want your DNA, I know that makes you nervous, but if they want your DNA. They're going to get your DNA because with digital and everything else, they got everything else. So it wouldn't surprise me if they develop some type of absorption thing on your cell phone to get other DNA. So, you know, well, it's true. We're heading that direction. I mean, that's like when I would do certain things in the military, I would be sent out to collect things. And uh, some of the stuff I collect, I'd be like, what's this for? But. You know, you use it for all kinds of stuff. DNA, all kinds of stuff. Hi, you are so fun to watch. Thanks, Barb. Down in Shula, Georgia. Georgia in the house. Somebody messaged what was me that? that uh, I should send some of that <laughs> snow down from Georgia. Yeah. yeah well, right. northern Georgia gets less snow. Okay, so bulletin board, right? I wish I had some. Um, okay, so here's what's really cool. Do I you, decorated it. Hey, go ahead. Go do you have to stain... Uh, where'd it go? Do you have to stain before applying wax to stained wood? Do you have to sand before applying wax to stained wood? No. What kind you don't of wood want are to. You to? No, well, no. Right yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yep, you got it. <laughs> Everybody wants out of their family. <laughs> so, here's what's cool, guys. A little bit of my black is still drying. But that's they say that's the Sonia national flag. Yes, there you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love it, except mine would be a little bit more colorful. Maybe like Bahama Jade with Silver River. You know what I'm saying? A little bit very dance. Yeah. We got about we three inches. We, we got like an inch and a half last night, and then we yeah. got like three it's inches snowed. this afternoon to the point where we we're debating whether or not to yeah, even come out here. Yeah. And we're up on the mountain, okay? So you have to get to our house. There's two options to get to our house, like roads to take, and both of them are hills. So you just kind of like go, which one seems to see for today? <laughs> so some days just don't go anywhere. So look at this. Look at this. Look at this. No, I'm not going to seal my bulletin board. The fact that I have painted it with chalky style paint makes it what, people? I've got a bulletin board. And what else do I have? Oh, yeah. Say it with this me. Is, this is the regular paint on the uh, cork board. This is our chalky style paint. We do not seal it. So you can have fun with projects like this. You can determine how you want to use our paint. Whether you're doing projects like this and you want a chalkboard wall, or you want a chalkboard bulletin board that you just created yourself, okay? Or you want to paint with it with your palette knives or your brushes. You can then choose to seal it if you want and you have a fully finished piece, right? So this is why there's so many ways you can use our paint. But now this bulletin board has two purposes. Now I can write notes to myself right here and do whatever the heck I want, which is really cool too, because you know what, if you can find a bulletin board like this and paint it, you know what, give it to like your grandkids and use your kids, give them some chopsticks, and they've got a big giant tic-tac-toe as well, right? Trudy, right? Uh, Trudy, so cool. we will fill you guys in on a later date about that. Look at this, I just love it. Right. So you just love it? All right, so some of the things that I use a bulletin board for is Hi, Deb. a list for myself of anything that I need to write on there. Mm -hmm. Cover it. So who cares if it's used and it's already got some use out of it? 
You just took it further. I'm going to also give all you ladies out there who have vendor booths and you are going out and you're selling your things. Maybe you have small things. If you, and you want to make your booth, booth stand out, right? Or you're just decorating for your house, whatever. doesn't make a difference. You, may, you take what I'm about to say and apply it to you. Go get yourself a bulletin board, paint it with junk monkey chalky style, turn it into whatever style you want, okay, in terms of whatever pattern you use. Let's say, for example, you sell jewelry. What do you do? You hang your jewelry on it with your push pins. Then what you can do is take your Or you put stick. little hooks. Yeah. Little hooky hooks. And then you can even write on it how much that object is, right? There's so many ways that you can use our chalky style. When is the metallic paint coming out? Probably two weeks. Yes. Yes. It's actually uh, in the process. In the process right now. So we're just waiting for it to come. So I wanted Sonia to show you the new label, but it's we on haven't. the phone, yeah. I gotta dig it out. I'm just trying to think how I can get it out to show them while we're live. Well, not 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 that. I mean, post it on the page. We could. We yep. could do that. How well, much to ship history. ten cans to Mississippi? You know what? All you gotta do is go to our website. Our website is tied into U.S. Uh, the United States Postal Service. Service, United USPS. <laughs> and uh, if you type in your zip code, what happens is our system already has the weight and the measurements of everything. So whatever you personalize and put into your cart. It connects to USPS, and then they will then send back immediately the rate to um, our website, which comes to you. So then you can go ahead and check it out. Because everybody orders differently, and everybody's located at different places, right? So we let we go to the actual shipping. From the Kara says, can buy paint from you. Well, of course, it's our paint. Yes! <laughs> just, yes. just go to jumpmonkeypaint.com. Yes, yeah, super I'm just giving you a hard time. It's taking on like wildfire all around the country. Everybody's waiting to get it, even outside of the borders. Mm -hmm. Now the push pins would work just as well if you sealed it. Um, but you just wouldn't have a chalkboard. Yeah, cork boards, cork boards wear out. You know how that works. This you know. one was worn out. It had yeah. all kinds of like this would be like somebody yeah. donated it. They were done with it. They thought that you know what they had no more light. So it's fun to be able to do your own thing, right? And hang, you know what would you put on yours? I'm just curious. Would you use yours for hey, a display for your jewelry and make it really cool like that? Mm -hmm. Would you, um, you know, just use it primarily to write notes to yourself and then you can stick, you know, like little cards cool. and things like that that you get. You could always stick it on and do what you need to do. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Peach. Peach anyway, you know pins. Linda yeah. says rates for USPS are going up at the end of the month. Oh, fantastic. I don't think anything ever, ever goes down. Yeah. yeah. All right, so, but here's another idea. Like, I'm holding up now uh, something that I've got from my scrap, from scrapbookingstore.com. By the way, my links were love. If you want to mm -hmm. get in my, you know, I'm just telling you since I have this in my hand. If you decide to, to join the same scrapbooking club that I am, the link's also above right here, or to go to junkmonkeypaint.com, click the link, sign these links, you'll find it there. But if you have, like, things in your life where they, you have whatever it is, you fill in the package, you can use a bulletin board like this and, like, you know, you can lay it out, right? Do we need to worry about ordering paint in freezing weather? Just make sure that you're there to receive it from yep. the other end. Yep. Yep. Because so just track it. Yep. And uh, if you are not going to be there, I would not recommend that you leave it outside in the middle of winter on your uh, doorstep. So make sure you time it so that you're there. Or you can call your post office and say, hey, Mr. Postmaster, I have got a package coming from Pennsylvania, and I'm not going to be home when it gets delivered tomorrow. It's estimated to be delivered tomorrow or whatever. Mm -hmm. Can you hold it for me? I get pack, pick it up. I gotta figure out where this is going. What is it? Oh, Trudy, me and you have the same birthday. There you go. Uh, Shirley says my husband went to a sports bar to watch the game, and a guy was there. Okay, what guy? <laughs> you can't leave it open ended like that. You got, you got, you got to tell us the rest of the story. Too funny. Don't do that to me. You guys like this idea? Is this good? This is a dollar. I'm so happy. I'm that guy. I'll be hanging on to see the rest of your story yeah. now. Yeah. Now you can't do that so late in the show, and I'm just like. What happened to the guy? What happened to the guy? We're on a cliffhanger here. Yeah. It's like one of those shows. Yeah. Tomorrow yeah. on Junk Monkey Paint Challenge. Yeah. Day 11. We'll find out what happened to the guy in the bar. Yeah. All right. Do you want to go ahead and holler out some banana bucks names to us real, for them real quick? Trudy <laughs> says, yay. All good people born on January 27th. Oh, Trudy. Birthday, Mom. Trudy, 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 Trudy. You don't know me that well. <laughs> oh, a guy at the bar was watching your video. Oh, what? Go away. Go get out of town. Dude, if I watched me, I did make me drink too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching us. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so we're so, gonna do some banana box. 
Yep. Yep. Go so, ahead. YouTube winner, Cynthia Ryder. Cynthia, email me at jumpmonkeypaint at gmail.com. Put winner, winner in the subject line and do it for midnight tonight, Eastern Standard Time, to collect mm -hmm. this offer. YouTube, that's the big one. Okay, I'm going. Right, he's doing the, doing the hokey pokey with the sticker. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. You're a lucky person who shared the chat with us yeah, today. Yeah. Yeah. All these comments. Woohoo! We love it when you guys talk to us. Charlotte? Charlotte? Mastronardo. There you go, Charlotte. All right, email me, girl. You know what you got to do? Jokemonkeypaint at gmail.com. Winner, winner in the subject line before midnight tonight. Eastern Standard Time. Before this offer, just take all right, so we will be back tomorrow. This was a quick Sunday night flip. So if you're trying to make your uh, office cute, you know, maybe you got a home office, maybe you want to decorate your kid's room, but you just kind of uh. want it to have a little bit more flair than a brownie, frowny bulletin board, put some chalky style paint on it, and then immediately you also have a chalkboard, which is pretty darn cool. And I just think that something like this is a whole lot better than brownie, frowny, and plain. And plus, if you get it on a budget when you thrift and you jump like me, yeah, for a buck. Be careful out there, Galen, and uh, have a safe day. I'm yes. sorry you won't be joining us, but uh, it's that's. Pictures on replay. Yep. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. And email me if you need some paint. All right. All right. Well, let's do you guys all go. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll be back tomorrow for day 11. Yeah. Right.